Hello you guys and Ramadan Mubarak. I'm so excited for today's vlog because this is a start to a little series I'm planning for my channel this Ramadan. They're just going to be my weekly vlogs like normal every Saturday, but they're just going to have a little bit more of like a Ramadan spin to them. So this week I'm going to be prepping. I have some decor to share with you guys in just a little bit. I'm going to be sharing some Ramadan iftar dinner outfit ideas and I have some meal prepping to do. So I'm excited for this week. I'm going to take you guys along. I want to give you guys a little better view of what I'm wearing today. I'm dressed up so that I can take some photos later, but I thought this would be the perfect look for an iftar dinner or if you guys are having any family gatherings or anything like that this Ramadan. It's dressy, but it's not like too, too dressed up since it's like trousers and a nice blouse. And I just love the satin. I just, I don't know, you guys are probably gonna see a theme with that this year. The top is Shein and the bottoms are Nasty Gal. So this is an extremely affordable look that I thought you guys would like. If these pieces are not available anymore, then I will try to link some similar. But I'm gonna be trying to give you guys more outfit inspo throughout the month this year rather than just doing like one video with a bunch of different outfits like I've done in the past. Just make sure you're following along this Ramadan to get all of my recommendations for some outfits. I wanted to show you guys the shoes. These are a little bit of a splurge. They're by Jeffrey Campbell, but I love me some strappy sandals for this time of year, and I love that you can wear these dressy or a little bit more casual, and the heel height is really nice because it's not too high, and they're just the really nice squared toe. I would highly recommend these as well. I love them. I have all of my decor laid out and we'll start decorating in just a little bit. My theme this year is black, gold, and white. And I usually go for like the greenery and like the blush pinks and stuff. But this year I wanted to do something that matched my house a little bit better. And I just wanted to switch it up and do something different. And I'm excited for this to all come together. I really love everything that I got. I got a really lovely package from a company called with a spin they make beautiful ramadan and eid decor and this sign is from them it says alhamdulillah which means praise be to god or like thank god just being grateful this tray is also from with a spin as well i thought that would be gorgeous to put like tea and coffee on and serve that during ramadan this cutting board is also from them it has this crescent design with this moroccan pattern so beautiful and then also these like Ramadan cookie cutters, which I really want to do some Eid cookies with those this year. Everything else is mainly from like Target, Amazon, Etsy. I did go ahead and pick up a new set of gold silverware from Amazon this year, and I really love the quality and the shape. It's really nice, like modern, so beautiful. These are kind of like a stoneware, kind of like organic shaped plates from Target. I think they had them in other colors as well, but I really wanted to kind of do something a little bit different with my tablescape this year with black. So I got the dinner plates and the salad plates. I got some candlestick holders from Amazon. I loved like the modern sleek design of those. I went ahead and got some new cups and glasses from H&M Home. I wanted to really dress up my tablescape this year and in all the pictures that I saw on Pinterest with beautiful tablescapes, the glassware, is that what it's called? Called, it just really makes such a difference when it comes to table decor. So I got these beautiful uh, gold rimmed glasses. They are so stunning. These are some little gold votive candle holders that I had. I think I got them from Michaels, but you can get them anywhere. I'm going to link some similar ones just from Amazon. Um, these are some bigger votive candle holders from West Elm that I got last year. And then these are new from Etsy. I thought these were really cool and modern for candles. I just stocked up on a bunch of little tea light candles to dress my table and around the house. These are some fairy lights that I'm going to use for some lanterns. I'll show you guys in just a second. And then I have my candlesticks. And these are just some napkins and a little table runner. So Omar and I have been over here arguing. <laughs> Because, for like 10 minutes. Because I just want to do a time lapse because of I me decorating. Cool and he wants to make a cool video. And these videos just take longer. Yes, but they so. turn out so good. You guys, listen. You guys need to tell her in the comments, all right? That she needs to listen to me. <laughs> you guys are on my side, okay? No. But we're going to do what Omar wants today. Okay, you guys ready to do this? We sound a little more enthusiastic, Lena. <laughs> Have 
the Ramadan vibes with like the gold and I feel like the black just makes it a little bit more modern and edgy and it really matches my house this year. I love it. I also got these black lanterns this year that I feel like just match my house so much better than the gold ones and I think these are going to be so cozy at night just turning these on during iftar time. It's just so festive. I love lanterns with fairy lights inside so everything will be linked down below in the description box. Hello you guys. Today I am very dressed up because I am trying on some pieces from a few packages that I just got in recently. I decided that this Ramadan I'm going to do kind of like a modest brand or Muslim owned brand haul. I was going to do it all in one video but it looks like some of the packages are running a little bit later than others. I decided what I'm going to do is include them in vlogs whenever I receive them. So this first dress I picked out from Veiled Collection. It's not part of their Ramadan collection. I don't think at this point it has launched yet. So maybe I'll get a few more pieces to share this Ramadan. But this is so stunning. It would be gorgeous for Eid because I feel like, I don't know, I don't feel like it's too, too dressy. But then you could also wear this to a wedding because... Of this gorgeous satin material i feel like you could really dress this up this is so so beautiful it also comes in i think like a sage green color which is absolutely gorgeous i am wearing a size small for reference and i feel like it's a really good modest fit it's not like figure hugging or anything like that the next brand is hijab house i'm very excited because i love 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 the company they are the sweetest girls behind the brand um, i just have a couple of pieces to share so this is their hijab magnets and i love this magnet because it's nude it does not like show up or you know it's not it doesn't like stick out like a sore thumb like i love the gold ones but they i just don't want it to show you know what i mean i just want it to be seamless so i love that these are beige they match all my scarves. They also have other colors too. They did send me a white one as well. What you do to create that like effortless, like flowy hijab style without it moving all over the place. I love that style, but like I said, I have never been able to like let it stay put without pins or anything. What you can do, take your magnet and you leave it with about like that much thickness under your chin. You do this little mini hijab tutorial for you guys. Okay, so there we go. It's all loose and everything. And then you just flick one side over your shoulder. You guys, I'm so excited about this because I've always admired this hijab style. I just could never figure out how to do it the way that I like it. I love that it doesn't really create like a point. It may just be this um, hijab, which is also from Hijab House. It's called Mahogany Rose. Yes, so pretty. Okay, let me show you guys the dress. This is the beautiful hijab house dress. I really loved the cut of this dress. I love like the puff sleeves. It's kind of like a linen, I don't know, it reminds me of like a linen-y material. It's great for summer, it's really breathable, and I feel like it would be beautiful for Eid or even like a vacation or something if you guys are going anywhere. So beautiful, it has these little ties on the sleeves, which is really cute. And it just kind of like cinches you in at the waist. I just paired it with some white strappy sandals. I think this is a beautiful like spring summer look. Another Muslim owned brand that I'm very excited to support is my friend Sabina's brand called Iram Atlas. It is a beautiful jewelry brand. I'm so excited for her that she launched her company and she sent, well I actually got a beautiful necklace and then she included a few more pieces that I'm super excited to share with you guys. This is the necklace that I ordered. It's this gorgeous gold chain with the little pearl and it's the most perfect length. I love this necklace length for wearing with my hijab because I feel like it's long enough that it actually shows. And I believe I remember her saying that all of her jewelry is plated in 18 karat gold. Okay, so there is the necklace on. I think it's so, so gorgeous. Let me show you guys the other pieces that she included. I just love her packaging. It's so luxe and would make honestly great Eid gifts. Just the way that she's packaged everything. I'm also going to be doing an Eid gift guide because I asked you guys over on my Instagram if you guys would be interested in that. I've never done an Eid gift guide before. Me and Amanda went ahead and put together some really good gift ideas. If you guys are interested, I will leave that down below. Here's another little pearl dainty necklace that is so pretty and she included a few earrings for my sisters because i don't usually wear earrings but these are so pretty i think this collection was all centered around different pearls oh these earrings are really cute 
those little drop down pearls like little gold hoops thank you so much sabina i'm so so happy for you and i hope that this is super successful for you inshallah okay i just realized that that was actually not it so let me see what else she included that's so sweet oh my god let me show you guys literally all these different rings just so many pretty dainty rings my nails look terrible right now but oh my gosh i also wanted to sit down and talk to you guys about the charities that i'm going to be supporting and taking a part in this ramadan obviously i like to share all the fun stuff about ramadan like the decor the food the fashion all that good stuff but that's not truly what ramadan is all about it's about bettering ourselves getting closer to god and obviously helping others so i'm going to be taking part in two different charities this ramadan the first one is through islamic relief we are going to be helping with the humanitarian crisis in Syria to provide food assistance to the people in Syria and the Syrian refugees in the surrounding countries. This is a very near and dear cause to our hearts because Omar's family is Syrian. So this just really hits home for us and we're really, really excited and proud to be hopefully making a difference this year. The second charity that I'm gonna be taking part in and sharing with you guys is called Banyan and it is through Launch Good. This organization is working to build shelters and Syria for widows and they support the women and their children. So this is something that I was really passionate about and helping because I knew that we could make a difference for the women and their children, especially now being a mom. This is something that really hits home for me as well. I'm really excited to hopefully make a difference in these charities this Ramadan. I will leave more information down below in the description box if you guys are interested and make sure to follow me on Instagram to get more updates over there. The last thing I wanted to share is a home prayer outfit that I'm loving. This brand is called Behind the Veil and and first of all, if you guys are confused about what kind of an outfit this is, <laughs> it's not an outfit. It's just kind of something you can throw on when you're at home and you're not wearing hijab to just like quickly cover up and pray. So it's so your just home prayer set. And these are actually really hard to find that look somewhat decent. A lot of times they're just like really crazy patterns or just terrible quality or I don't know. They're just like really hard to find. They have so many pretty colors. I actually got these in black, this like pretty mauve, um, an olive green, and then like another purpley mauve color, a little bit darker than this. I just loved how like simple it is. The fabric's really cooling. It has these arm sleeves and yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to share this as well because I was looking for some new ones and I really loved the quality of these. I thought I would show you guys our prayer mats that we use. If you're not Muslim and you don't know what a prayer mat is used for, it's basically just to create a clean space for you to pray on. That's basically the whole concept behind it, but they have some really pretty ones that I found on Amazon. This is by the brand Modefa and I will link these and some more pretty ones that I found down below. I got this one last year and I shared it with you guys and then you guys sold it out so I couldn't get a matching one until like just recently they finally restocked so both Omar and I finally have matching ones they're not padded I get that question a lot whenever I share them they're not padded but since Omar and I are going to be praying tarawih at home this year again I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I'm gonna add some padding to these this is kind of a little Ramadan prayer hack <laughs> I got some yoga mats some cheap ones so that I could use it as padding underneath the prayer mats so I'm gonna just cut these to fit underneath. It's gonna be so much more comfortable. I know that I could probably find some prayer masks that are already cushioned, but I have never been able to find any that I like, like the look of them. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> do this. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is gonna be <laughs> the biggest game changer it's so much more comfortable i made sure to get the yoga mats that are like really thick and like really squishy because you know there are some yoga mats that are actually like really thin like i will link this exact one down below because i don't think it was very expensive it was very easy to just like cut along the little ridge make a straight line put it right underneath your mat it's gonna be like you guys Trust me on this one. It's a really good hack. I'm about to make some overnight oats. This is one of my favorite recipes for sahur. I'm actually not fasting this Ramadan because I'm breastfeeding, but I'm gonna make some for Omar. It's one of my favorites, so I'm gonna be eating some as well. And I realized that I only have four mason jars, which is what I like to make these in because you can just like close them off, eat them in the same thing. Anyways, yeah, I only have four, so 
I should have made sure that I had more, but I'm just gonna make four and then I'll hopefully get some more. Basically what's in it is rolled oats. I get the quick cooking kind. I have some chia seeds, almond milk, and pure maple syrup for a sweetener. That's the base. And then everything else I have over here is for toppings. I'm gonna try to make a couple different variations. I have some slivered almonds, I have some pecans, almond butter, I had a ripe banana, and some berries. That's, oh, and some coconut flakes. And I also have some dates I can chop up as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to making these. We have a half a cup of oats. I'm gonna put a half a cup in each of the mason jars. Then we're gonna do one tablespoon of chia seeds in each jar. Then we're gonna add a half a cup of milk of your choice. I'm using the almond milk. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Greek yogurt, probably like maybe a tablespoon, like a heaping tablespoon of Greek yogurt to each as well. Then for sweetener, I like to add probably like three tablespoons of maple syrup, but it's really to your preference. Then we are going to, sometimes I shake it up and sometimes I stir it. taste it just to make sure it's sweet enough for me. Oh my God, so good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make my toppings. For the first one, I am doing banana, cinnamon, and pecans. This next one is gonna be dates. This is chopped dates, coconut flakes, and almonds. one is gonna be almond butter, banana, and strawberry. It's gonna kind of be a little bit similar to peanut butter and jelly type of thing, but it's gonna be with almond butter and fruit. I'm just gonna add some fruit to the next one and keep it simple. I'm doing raspberries and blueberries. Finish and it's gonna be so delicious for breakfast or sahur. Once the oats and chia seeds and everything's set, it's gonna be a really nice pudding like consistency. You just grab it out of the fridge, you just mix it all together, and it's so yummy and filling and has really good fiber and nutrients. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the lids on these and put them in the fridge. Okay, so I forgot to end this vlog, so I'm filming this in the morning that we're gonna be uploading, but we wanted to wish you guys a Ramadan Mubarak. I hope you all have a very blessed month ahead. Yeah, may Allah bless all of us, all mm -hmm. of you. Just hope that we benefit as much as we can from this Ramadan. Yeah. It's yeah. Elena's first Ramadan. We're excited to take you guys along and just kind of share with you guys what we get up to the rest of this month. Yeah. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys in my next one.